It's fine. It's fine. Side of the next day, you should get it checked out in case. Yeah. It doesn't look dislocated or anything or broken. It doesn't feel broken, so. Welcome again to my channel, guys. It's just great to see you here. Uh, we're doing another pick a card reading. Um, yes, within the same stream. Um, yeah, all my social media and stuff, including my Twitch, um, are down in the info box below. And if you want to catch these readings live, um, yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Um, yeah, I do a, um, for every 10 subs, um, I do a group pick a card reading and then, um, there's other tarot card and oracle card redemptions and stuff while I'm streaming. So, yeah. Um, again, feel free to follow me on there. And, yeah. For today's reading, it's going to be what's next in love. Um, this was the second most voted for question. Um, so, yeah. We're going we're gonna to do it. Um, yeah. Without further ado, here are the piles. Here are our piles. Um, pile one, we got a Dior lip glow lip balm in the color. It's the original, like, 01 color. Um, you guys can't see that. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, but for pile two, we got a Victoria's Secret uh, Beauty Rush flavored. It's a flavored lip gloss here. And then for pile three, we have a Smackers uh, Tsum Tsum uh, Chapstick, and it's Marie from the Aristocats. Um, so yeah, um, if you need a minute, uh, feel free to pause the video and take your time choosing a pile. Sorry uh, for those of you on Twitch, you can't do that, but... Uh, and as a gentle reminder, uh, these are general readings, so take what res resonates and leave what doesn't. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, pile one, uh, if you chose the Dior Lip Glow Lip Balm, this is your pile. And it's like the O1, the original. So yeah, this is the original, the OG. Maybe you're like a really original person and like that's probably what people like about you. And I feel like that's like a character. So you come up with like original ideas. You have like original like outfits and stuff. Like you kind of stand out from the crowd. Um, yeah, this is also a bougie brand, so like maybe you have like a taste for bougie stuff. Um, but otherwise, this lip balm is pretty like subtle. It's just it's a lip balm. Um, it kind of brings up the natural pH of your lips. Um, like it reacts to the pH. Sorry, it brings out the pH in your lips. No, it reacts to the pH in your lips and brings out like a natural color that's like original to you. So like it's not gonna look the same on everybody else. Uh, so yeah. Maybe you're like, that kind of gives me kind of a little bit of Gemini energy because like Gemini is like, I noticed they kind of, they kind of like adjust themselves to like, that's the best word I can describe. They adjust themselves to, um, the, like to whoever they're talking to. Um, some people see that as two-faced, but like that's, G Gemini is just like, it's the twins. It's, it, they're not two-faced. They're like severely misunderstood. Um, they're not two-faced, they just adjust themselves to fit the needs of... Maybe not fit the needs, but they adjust themselves to different people and different situations. Um, yeah, they act in the moment, I guess you could say. So anyways, let's get to your oracle cards first, and then we're gonna get into your, um, tarot. Child that was meant to be, hiding your true self. Divine sensuality, I love how that comes up. Okay. Healer and awareness. Okay. And my first pick card reading. If you were in pile three, <clears throat> this is giving me some pile three energy. So maybe y'all just came up from over there and now you're here and you're picking pile one. I'm going to laugh. Please comment down below if that's what it is. Those of you in the chat, if you picked pile three last reading <clears throat> and now you're picking pile one, please let a girl know because I think it's funny. But, anyways. Um, and if you haven't, uh, watched that, uh, reading, um, I'll be sure to, like, put, like, a little card somewhere. Um, feel free to go ahead and check it out. Um, 
So, what's happening here? You know what? Hiding your true self. Maybe you have original ideas, but you're just afraid to, like, show them. And you're afraid to, like, be your true self and to, yeah, to show those ideas. Because maybe as a child, you were bullied for it. Your parents or whoever your caregivers were, um, well, caregivers, I'll put that in air quotes, maybe told you, like, or, or maybe, like, the adults in your life, maybe, maybe not be, maybe might not only be your caregivers, but... Um, or maybe you're bullied, like, by your peers. I don't know. But anyways, um, you were told that your ideas were stupid and, like, you're an idiot and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. Don't, don't let that bother you. Like, no. Fuck that. Um. And what also leads me to that, too to thinking that too is the healer card um healer you have you have powerful healing gifts have faith in your ability stay true to your path as a healer maybe you do need to like heal those childhood wounds um i don't yeah those childhood wounds um and maybe like you are someone who's meant to be like a light worker in this um this life if you believe in that um and maybe or maybe you're in a career path where you help people heal and or maybe even help children heal maybe you might be like a therapist or like um or so, like a social worker or something um maybe these like childhood wounds maybe affect your current sensuality and like Or maybe once you heal those childhood wounds, it might help you with that. And the energy field adjustment. Both, like, sexually and not sexually when you're dealing with people, especially, like, in a dating sense. You gotta protect yourself, both, like, physically and also, um, energetically. Um, and it could be even in, like, a date situation. Like, you maybe not even be in a, a steamy, uh sense um it you know you gotta like you know not you gotta like you know have your shields and stuff and like protect yourself and that's just kind of like you should just do that in general it's not only in a dating situation but you're just talking to people in general um another card here that you have is awareness live in the moment be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance so maybe because you were bullied Because you were bullied. This is coming through. Maybe because you're bullied. Because you crave connection, you ignore red flags. Because when I saw look for signs, I immediately thought of red flags. Or maybe you just maybe it doesn't have to do anything with the bully. Maybe with the bullying. Maybe it's just like you just ignore red flags. Um Don't do that. <laughs> just don't. Be aware. Um, live in the moment, yes, and, oh yeah, also enjoy the moment of dating and stuff like that. Be in the moment. Enjoy what's happening. But, uh, you know, be aware. You know, don't, uh, don't look through things with rose-colored glasses. You know, be, you know, just kind of try to be, like, kind of, like, look for the red flags. Like, well, not be, don't actively look for them, but, like, be aware as they pop up. If they pop up. Um, the divine sensuality. I'm curious to see how, I feel like that's going to play more later. Let's get into your tarot cards. I'm kind of like, I feel like it's like that card feels very isolated from the rest of them. Oh, oh, okay. This is popping out. Leap of faith. Oh, possessive competition. The late bloomer. Ah, the producer. Emperor energy. 
energy and magician energy okay i see i see i see maybe you were abandoned and it's caused you to be possessive because the card four of, four of rings which is the four pentacles is being like mine this is being possessive um and you might see with the five of roses you might see other people as other people as competition and you might be um you might be catty because of it um Or, it could be, you are closing yourself off, because the heart's in, I don't know if you guys can see the card here, but I will try to show you. But the heart's like locked up, under lock and key, maybe you're closing yourself off from love, and from receiving love, and you, you need to heal whatever wounds those are. Maybe because of those wounds, you think, like, people are, like, other people are competition to you and stuff like that. And maybe because you have a lot of healing to do, you might be a late bloomer. You might end up dating, like, kind of a little bit, like, if you're, like, let's say you're, like, in 25, you might, like, this is, this is gonna, you, you might your next relationship might be like more a little bit later maybe when you're closer to 30 like it's gonna be like i feel like there's a long time like you're gonna be single or like you're not gonna be in like an official relationship um you might be like dating around but like you're not you're not gonna like be like have an official like person um but you have the leap of faith card it's the eight of roses leap of faith the producer and the bachelor i feel like these guys are kind of more connected you gotta work on healing once you heal these wounds whatever they may be for whatever reason um and not be so possessive over your heart or you work on your possess possessiveness issues and take that leap of faith and trust someone or to trust people a little bit more um and stop hiding yourself Maybe you're putting up a mask and like, maybe you are the red flag. But if you stop doing that, take the leap of faith, trust someone and just kind of let it happen. You could be more willing to do that, that leap of faith. The producer is the magician. The producer, like producer on shows, they, they make shit happen. They they give the funds to for, for the show whatever like whether it be live entertainment or whether it be like a tv show or even a music video whatever producers give the money and they all they they, they make it happen um and then um you can manifest that um the emperor it's the bachelor here but it's the emperor card i don't see how this plays into it this, that's where i'm kind of a little like right Let's find out. This is like, like I said earlier, like this is a deck I have a hard time, harder time reading. Um, it's a newer deck of mine, but also too, like it's not like they do like eight of roses, four of rings. It's not like the usual like suits and stuff like that. And then they have different names for the cards. So I'm sitting here like, eh. and not like the usual depiction of the cards or like something close to it. Um, love on the shoulders provides structure, order, discipline, training, fairness. Quality time of all wisely wielding his power, he offers roses carefully, drawing upon his start discernment skills. Okay. Now it makes more sense. Okay. Basically, with the, this, for this card particularly, don't be. Now it makes sense. Don't just willy nilly hand roses out to people left and right, you know, have some discernment, you know, like, see, like, look, you know, oh, yeah, this appears over the red flag card, like, the awareness, be aware, yes, this is what the emperor is, be aware, don't, there you go, now it makes sense, 
don't have, don't, again, do not look at whoever it is you're going after with rose colored glasses. Keep some, keep your wits about you still. Like, I'm not saying to be completely like, you know, on guard, but what I'm saying is, you know, feel yourself in the moment, but kind of keep an eye out and keep kind of, a, keep a level head in case like red flags do pop up. And those are things you do need to consider because otherwise you're just going to keep getting hurt. And you already got enough healing to do. You don't need someone else hurting you anymore. You don't, you don't need more hurt happening is what I'm trying to say. Again, energy field adjustment. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. I'm still trying to figure out the divine sensuality cards. Let me look it up here. Let me see what this is about. Maybe it's describing the when you have when you you do the deed next. Maybe it, you're Maybe it's going to be a fight for dominance. And maybe you're more dominant than you think you are. I did fall on top of that card. The, the competition card. Maybe you're going to like... Maybe like the next person... Whether it be like someone like you do like... Carefully pick and give your rose to. Um, so to speak. Keeping in the theme of the, par the cards. Um... Maybe it's, like, competition for, like, who's more dominant. Maybe you're more dominant than you think you are. I don't know. Yeah, so it's basically sexual exploration. So, yeah, maybe experience being more dominant. Maybe, like, be open to experience, like, to exploring that. And maybe the... That's what's next in love. Maybe, like, whoever's your next partner is going to, like, help you explore that. Or it can, it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner. It could be even, like, a sexual partner, too. Like, um, because that does talk about sexual freedom. Um, they might help you explore that dominant side of you. There we go. I feel like the mystery's been solved now. Um, is there anything else I'm hearing from the cards? I feel like... That's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's reading. Um, it's much appreciated. The love and support. Um, if you haven't done so, feel free to follow me. Um, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Uh, like, comment on the video. Um, and if you want to see these readings live, um, go ahead and follow me on Twitch so you can get live updates of when I'm streaming. And feel free to follow me on all my other social medias. Um, that's going to be in the info box below, along with all the tarot cards and all the decks I've used in today's reading. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. Uh, woohoo for pick a card, uh, number two. So, uh, yeah. Um, until next time, um, have a good one. Bye guys. All right. So hello pile two. Um, if you chose the Victoria's Secret lip gloss thing, the Beauty Rush lip gloss, flavored lip gloss, this is your pile. Um, oops, I have pile ones, lipstick lip gloss thing still here <laughs> but anyways let's get to your reading um we're gonna do some oracle cards first and then see oh well that looks like a model if i haven't seen one like see how fierce those victorious secret oh oh okay sounds good yoshitos okay oh well victoria's secret was in a lot of hot water so black flower fragrance makes sense okay a drift oh some drama happened support oh Woo. Woo. okay it looks like we got some drama here but there's some tea to be spilt um okay so um so victoria's secret was in a lot of hot water because of um them not being inclusive enough um, 
which yeah now makes sense why i put this lip gloss on this pile because uh, queen of my own world is being um is very is a card it appears when you are not willing to change um you are like no it's my way or the highway i'm not gonna change uh well that's your own little world honey that's not how life works and life is gonna slap you upside the head and show you otherwise black flower fragrance is basically like you just getting exposed whether it be good or bad and then you got two reverse cards this is the this is i guess it's piles two pile two's turn to be spicy um so you got our drift in reverse letting go allowing things for higher force so you're not letting something go there's something that happened that you are not letting go and you need to let go in order for you to move on and you maybe clairvoyance seeing out of body travel so you might be having nightmares about this and you got support ask for help get more rest nurture yourself magic make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you mm. pile two pile two my guy Ooh, it looks like you so you were in some drama and um so I feel like I don't know what the drama is related to I don't know what it's about but you were exposed I think you were the bad guy and you're not letting go of that and it's giving you nightmares. I think that's what visions reverse means. Hold on. People are trying to like say, hey, what you did was not cool. You could also be having nightmares about it too. Maybe. What you did was not cool. Or they're trying to give you advice on how to move on because you got a drift in reverse. You could be, people could be giving you insight on that or they're trying to say, hey, you did this wrong. Um, or what you did was not cool, but you're not listening to them. So support, ask for help, get some more rest and nurture yourself. Like, ser listen to the, like, listen to what these people are telling you, because if they're trying to go out of your way to, like, to talk to your stubborn ass, then the, that, that must mean they care. But also, too, maybe you need to go to therapy. Maybe you need to do some things you need to work out. Um, and maybe you just need to take a time out with love. Maybe, like, work on some self-love. Um, and the reason why I say this is that people don't who don't love themselves, um, I usually get the magic card popping up or, like, there's some form of, like, self-hatred or there's some form of, like, them not believing in themselves. Um, it says, make a wish, believe in the miracles, and magic surrounds you. Like, if you you know don't be afraid to ask the universe for things like if you are if you want your your person your soulmate or whatever like don't be afraid to ask the universe for that um it's manifestation um but i feel like in order for you to be ready like i in order for you to be like like, even if it's to, like, you know, for you to feel better, for you to get out of the situation, I would say, like, you could, like, wish for that. But I, I don't know. I feel like you just need therapy. Getting major, like, you need therapy. You need to talk to someone vibes from this. Um, okay. What's next in love for pile two? I think maybe some self-love is next. That's just me, but I don't know. Let's see. Here to make friends. Well, I feel like... Ah, flutes, yep. The meathead. You're being a meathead right now. A free spirit. Yeah. In your head. You are too in your head about it. Re okay. Yeah. Okay. 
it all makes sense. So like, pile two, like, I know this, this might not be the answer you want, but don't shoot the messenger. You need to work on your friend, like on, on yourself and on your friendships because you got the here to make friends card. Um, you also got the meathead. I feel like you are being a meathead over this. You're like, no, I'm going to like try and like date and blah, blah, blah. When really you're, you're not ready to do that. The free spirit. The immediately what came to me was like, you just need to just spend some time just doing you, you doing you. And then you got in your head here, you are overthinking the ever living crap about it. When the answer is literally like people are telling you the answer, or the answer is right in front of you. The reassuring rose. I don't know if that's really what it means, but honestly, it appearing over the support card is very telling. I feel like don't be afraid to ask for help, whether it be from friends, family, um, therapy, again. And then the edit is the next one. Don't be afraid to cut a bitch out of your life. Obviously not the good people, but like, you know, don't be afraid to take charge of your life. Like, when you're editing a video, you set the tone and you can set, like, you can show the audience what you want them to show. Like, for example, like, me editing this video right now, like, I do cut out the part. I, I plan to cut out the parts. Like, it be, like, switching in between and, like, some of the, probably the in-between banter between me and the chat because it's going to be too long, the video otherwise. Like, I edit it to make it more... Uh, making it to make it feel more um, faster and like to be like it's it just so that it's more appealing to the viewer to those of you watching on YouTube um, but yeah like that's how it is like on like film on YouTube like the e like the YouTuber or the film people like they edit the footage down to what they want you to see and to what, um, yeah, what they want you to see and to experience, like, from whatever it is that they're making. So, the same thing it is, too. Like, if you want to show the romance part of your, um, focus on, like, the rom- well, not, that's a bad example, but, like, if you want to, like, hey, like, I want to get bad, like, get rid of this bad habit of, like, uh, of like biting my nails like because like i feel like me having like crappy nails like doesn't look good whenever i'm on dates like you know whatever or whatever it is or like it's you know it's not good for my health to be chewing on my nails like you can edit that you can get rid of that like you can get rid of the kick that habit and you can get that out of your life and it can also be a person too like a negative force in your life you can edit them out of your life so to speak Wow, I feel like, wow, shit, I thought pile one was, like, the most straightforward. I feel like pile two is just, boom, dead on. I'm sorry if this is not the answer you're looking for, for those of you, what's next in love. But I think really what's, ne what's next in love is you working on yourself and loving yourself. And, um, doing what's best for you, yourself. Um, yeah. Hey, you know, working on yourself is not too bad. Not, not the worst thing. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's reading. Um, it's much appreciated. The love and support. Um, if you haven't done so, feel free to follow me. Um, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Uh, like, comment on the video. Um, and if you want to see these readings live, um, go ahead and follow me on Twitch so you can get live updates of when I'm streaming. And feel free to follow me on all my other social medias. Um, that's going to be in the info box below, along with all the tarot cards and all the decks I've used in today's reading. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. Uh, Woohoo for pick a card uh, number two. So uh, yeah. Um, until next time. Um, have a good one. Bye, guys. So, hello, Pile 3. Um, if you chose the pile with uh, the Marie Tsum Tsum Lip Smacker uh, chapstick on it, this is your pile. Uh, Marie in the Aristocats film. She is like, she is like, she's like, I'm the queen. You bow down to me. Like, I am a lady. 
I love her to death. She's like my favorite character in the film. Um, maybe that's your personality. I don't know. Uh, maybe you really like cats. I forgot to take out lipstick like I did on the last pile. There we go. I don't know. Um, we're gonna find out. How does this pertain to you? Sacrifice. Oh, calling the storm. Okay. Okay. Fertility. Oh, love how that pops up. Falling in love. Ooh, 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 ooh. Compassion and sanctuary. Sanctuary. Since we're on a Disney kick, sanctuary. For those of you who get that reference. I'm a lady and that's why. Yes, that's one of her famous quotes. Uh, Marie's quotes. Um, so, something that you need to work on uh, before, for, in terms of what's next uh, for love. Um, you gotta stop sacrificing yourself. If you want something, or if it's something that's not your, um, doesn't fit your values, no. If someone wants to push you to do something you don't want to do, don't fucking do it. Like, that's how, like, Marie, like, she's, like, stubborn. She's like, I don't want to do it. She's like, no, I'm a lady. I don't care. Like, I'm a lady and that's why. No, I'm not going to do that. Have more of that energy. Calling the storm, yeah. And also, too, like, don't be afraid. Be like, no. Like, I'm not going to do it. Like, stand up for yourself. I feel like that. that's, like, the vibe I'm getting. Um, fertility for what's next in love. If you are a lady... Or even if you, well, if you have lady bits, or if you have manly bits, you might want to make sure you use extra protection, because fertility not only means, like, creative shit, but it also means, um, making babies. So, maybe, like, if you don't want, if you don't want to make babies, <clears throat> make sure you use extra protection, but if you do, like, um... I'm not sure if this pile's actually in a relationship or not. This pile might be in a relationship. So, like, if you are in a relationship, <clears throat> use some protection. If you're not in a relationship, but you're, you know, you're having fun, um, going out and having fun, um, make sure you use protection. Or even if, like, you're just, I don't know, basically, you don't want a baby, use protection. Um, but if you do, Maybe that's what's next in love is like part of your journey with your partner or maybe not. I don't know. You might have a baby. So there's that. Falling in love. Oh my God. We finally get a pile where there's love. Wow. Maybe you'll fall in love. Maybe what's next in, for you is that you'll fall in love and have, you might start a family with it, with, with them. Um, that could be it. And like, Marie, she's part of the family. She's 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 a child. Yes. Well, wait, no, but she's a child, though. She's a child of uh I forgot the Duchess is her name. Uh she's a child and she's one of the three kids. So yeah. Um Compassion, be gentle with yourself, forgiveness will set you free. Set see the light in yourself and others. Maybe you need to be more compassionate towards yourself. And if you are someone who's kind of a bit on the um, pessimistic side, like, don't, like, lighten up a little. Like, or if you have a tendency to see the negative in people, look at the positives and stuff like that. Don't be so negative Nancy, basically, is what I'm trying to get. And don't be, like, so negative Man Nancy towards other people, but also don't be mean to yourself. Um... You know, like, maybe there's something, like, you need to forgive about yourself. Like, there's something that you haven't forgiven yourself for. Maybe it's because you were sacrificing yourself so much and you're not forgiving yourself for that. Like, you're like, oh my god, I put myself in this bad situation and that was not cool. If that's in the past. I don't know. Or maybe you sacrifice a lot of your boundaries or you sacrifice things and you put yourself in situations because you feel like you don't deserve that compassion. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be compassionate towards yourself. Stand up for yourself again. Stand up for yourself. Sanctuary. Take time from... Take time out from the world. Spends more time alone. 
meditate or go on a retreat. Huh. Maybe you need to spend some time alone in order to find your person. Or if you're in a relationship, you need maybe you need to spend some alone time. And like, because maybe, I don't know, maybe you like, you guys are always together. Like you guys are like attached to the hip. Um, maybe like you just need to allow some time. Like you guys need some, you need, you need a breather. That's interesting. This is the pile that's getting like kind of both the if you're in a relationship or not. Like the other two piles were like single. Like you you guys are definitely single as fuck. Um <laughs> All right. So let's see what's next in love for pile 3. Okay. Um opening up camera guy the contestant red flags, okay. The end. Maybe you're at the end of a cycle and then the cliffhanger. Because this is the death card. So it's like transformation. Cliffhanger. I forgot what it translates to, but basically it says to be continued. So maybe, like, maybe you guys are single. Or maybe you are taking a. Maybe you need to go on a break. Maybe this makes sense. Sanctuary. Maybe you need to take a break from your current person because you need to go through some of these this healing stuff man everybody needs to be damn okay um yeah and the contestant is the fool in this death deck um why did this jump out at me and why is it over the fertility maybe well, if you were to have a kid with this person, maybe you having... So for those of you in a relationship, the, if you take this alone time and kind of do some deep healing, maybe it... Well, not maybe. It will help strengthen the relationship. It could help strengthen the relationship. Uh, work on your own red flags. Your personal red flags. Um, and it can set you up to like have more of a long-term relationship and it will give you a new beginning which is the contestant here um, and maybe it could lead to maybe it could lead to having kids maybe it's like making a home maybe like having fur babies like having it doesn't have to be like human children it could be you know animal children as well maybe that's why marie is here maybe you're gonna have kitties like cats are gonna be your children you're gonna be like a crazy cat couple um okay the camera guy eight of rings and then opening up so yeah wait opening up is maybe for those of you and this is still for the people who are in a relationship maybe you need to be more open to their partner about like things you've experienced and like you need to be open up you need to be more you need to set your boundaries more with them and like and maybe they do too like maybe a boundaries talk needs to happen and then the camera guy card that card like is stumping me a bit I don't... oh it's the strength card i think what's in your heart yeah so speaking up there you go these two are tied together so yeah it's speaking up and then being honest, being truthful with what's in your heart. Uh, for those of you who are single. Wow, I picked up on that intuitively. I'm so proud of myself. Anyways. Um, for those of you who are single. Um, for you to get for what's next in love. For you to get to the relationship or yeah, I'm not saying relationship. I feel like to get to your like ideal relationship and whatnot. Um, You need some time alone. And you need to go through this transformation and be more compassionate with yourself. And look over these red flags. Because once you like deal with your personal little red flags, it can open you up to falling in love. And here you go, you got the fool. It sets you on a new, it's gonna put you on a new track. And maybe you need to be more 
maybe one of the places to start is being more open. Again, boundaries is like the word that's coming up for me. Um, maybe being more open and being firm because camera guy is about, it, I think that's a strength card basically, or it's like, you know, kind of not being afraid to have that talk and showing the world like this is, uh, these are my boundaries. Um, but also too, it could be like showing the world who you are and like, you know, this is me and like, this is what I stand for. And if you don't like it, get the fuck out. The door's right over there. Um, yeah. Is there anything else that I can think of? Yeah. And that's how Marie is too. She's like, I'm a lady. And if you can't respect that, bye. That's basically, she's very like, she's like feeling herself and she's like, she's, she's confident and she's, you know. Yeah. Also, too, this is chapstick. It's simple. It's um, this is this just popped in my mind. Um, it's like it's chapstick is there to kind of help like heal and help like prevent your lips from getting all chapped and like or to help the lips lips recover. And maybe you just need some recovery time. like that I think that's it I think like I'm not getting anything any other messages now I feel like it's kind of my brain's gone quiet thank you guys so much for tuning into today's reading um it's much appreciated the love and support um if you haven't done so feel free to follow me um subscribe to me here on youtube uh like comment on the video um and if you want to see these readings live um go ahead and follow me on twitch so you can get live updates of when i'm streaming and feel free to follow me on all my other social medias um that's going to be in the info box below along with all the tarot cards and all the decks i've used in today's reading um and yeah i think that's gonna be it uh woohoo for pick a card uh number two so uh yeah um until next time um have a good one. Bye, guys.